Can we not change? It's feeling so cyclical. Do we have control? I might have botched my chance to leave. A gaping black hole that takes everything when nothing is left to give. Can I parlay my soul? What's it worth to you? Reasons to blame. A life not satisfied. Why knuckle through the do or die? Don't count on another side. Can we not change? Or do we stay miserable? Can I count on a miracle? No.
treat me how you wanna Make it touch down and I back it up on ya Trouble and the trouble you need Take you to heaven in his peace, God Toxic radiation, mosh pit, appetite like a hostage. Mama, watch this cannonball. I don't crowd surf, I'm a cannibal. Try and get my dead breasts up. Like, can I ball? Can I ball? Your girl hot on and off, like menopause. Why you say no homo? Megapods. Why you mad? Cause your girl get meta jaws. That's your shark made up for you, lamos. What you think? That your girl share rainbows? I'm upset that you might think they go. Hard as me on the beat, honestly. Gotta be fucking Medusa to spit something harder. We got the product like this is the Carter, but this ain't the Carter. It ain't what you thought of. This is that shit make you get holy water. This is that shit make me take home your daughter. Evil Knievel ain't stunting like me though. Lines are so dope, get you stuck on that needle. Chasing the fame, get you shot like a beetle. No one is playing the world's smallest violin. No, no one is playing the world's smallest violin. Cause everyone losing it and we get high again. I keep my eyes open cause if they close I see monsters like Leviathan. But no one is playing the world's smallest violin. No, no one is playing the world's smallest violin. Cause everyone losing it and we get high again. I keep my eyes open cause if they close I see monsters like Leviathan. Dead devils to bare metals. None of you real, you come from Geppetto. Not on the home team, then fuck with you pedal. A rose from the concrete came through with no pedals. Black rose, death to the beat. 
Black crows stepping to me. They smell in the carcass. I smell the defeat. Control out the lead. Control out the lead. Half of your project, I can't even lie. Why you put out that garbage? Feeling Italian, I stay on that mob shit. Money over bees. But nothing like watching a honey just rolling a beat. Then come and walk over to put it on me. I put her at ease, then put her on ease. They call my city windy, but it ain't the breeze. It's more cause of ease. The shorties is picking up Uzi's to squeeze. Smoking some weed and chilling them out. They grabbing the tech and they're in them out. And that's why it's windy. The bullets is flying. My nephews and cousins is living with lines Concrete the jungle, we searching for Zion No one got fathers, of course they define Can say they ain't trying, but that's why they violent But no one is playing, the world's smallest violent No, no one is playing, the world's smallest violent Cause everyone losing it and we get high again I keep my eyes open, cause if they close I see monsters like Leviathan But no one is playing, the world's smallest violent no, no one is playing the world's smallest violin. Cause everyone losing it and we get high again. I keep my eyes open cause if they close, I see my sons like Leviathan. Watch what you vibe with them. Why would you ride with them? Your delivery's poor, but fuck it cause FedEx is hiring. I'll be that vitamin, get your girl right again. Her, she be modeling, smoking in parliament, smelling like Artemis. She see the movement and she want a part of it. I never listen in school. I was like, I'm on my artist shit. I seen the hardest shit. See my mother take her last breath. See my homie take his last step. There's some shit you gotta accept. Like the only constant is change. So I constantly change. I be inside of my brain, going insane. Thinking of all of these things. But no one is playing the world's smallest violin. But no one is playing the world's smallest violin. But no one is playing the world's smallest violin. All right, my friends, it is that time of the night. You were just listening to the sounds of V Getterix. The link is in the description. Make sure you check them out. It is October 16th, 2023, 8.46 p.m. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to another stream. Let's get into this. This last bit of Stormblood has been real spicy. We've lost, we've gained. You know, we've met new friends, we've lost some friends. Leveled up Ninja to level 70. I was grinding that pretty hard the last two days. The side questing, doing the roulettes, some dungeons. Boy, was I lost. It was fine. Once I did a dungeon like 17 and a half times, I was like, you know, starting to get pretty comfortable with it, so. And I left off on a job quest. Why am I dressed like this, you might ask? Because these are the only clothes. Well, I just haven't glammed. But yeah, these are my uh, best in slot clothes for right now. I, don't, I didn't want to spend money since... I was about to get to 70, which now I can go get my other gear. But I need to do this job quest that's a thousand miles away. Hold on. Where am I? Where is this thing? Jesus Christ, I have to go way out there. Now I have to prepare for this long journey. I look some quests, but no time for that now. I need to, I need to go on my journey here because, well, I think I just did that for nothing. No, that's fine. We'll do that and then I'll get my my new level 70 gear that makes sense 
Where am I going? Here? Yeah. All the way over here. All the way over there. <laughs> Got some baked eggplant. Very nice. And we're off, guys. We're off. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I went to SeaWorld and saw some penguins. And, uh... Some manatees. Giant turtles, some purple jellyfish, ate a 12 inch hot dog, drank a $50 Coke Zero. A nice time. Oh, this wasn't that far. I don't know why the map makes it seem like it's further away, but this was doable. I ate something. My stuff is fixed. Let's do this. Oh, I haven't even looked at my new ability. I'm such a goober. Master Sifu, is that you? No. Yeah. God, oh, Jesus, so dramatic. It's just an older hermit. Disguised as a young hermit. I know I've come dressed like Robin Hood, but I promise I come I'm serious and ready for battle. He looks like a captain of the Robin Hoods. He had like a Robin Hood faction, you know? Should dye my hair purple again. It's a good look on Shadow Paw. These are the new Beats by Dre. Bluetooth speakers, comes in stereo. Oh, you messed up. I do that all the time. I don't know why my fingers lock up. And then my brain locks up sometimes, so I have no idea what I'm doing. You thought I was dead, but the real me uses head and shoulders. You don't get this type of hair. Volume. 
without head and shoulders. I don't know why these sounds keep startling me. Yeah, they've been fun. They've been they've been okay. But I don't know. I don't know what can top my battle with Master Sifu. That was pretty uh pretty memorable, I'd say. There were just so many elements that made that fight and that quest line so good. Including being completely underpowered. By choice, most mostly, I think. By dumb, ignorant choice. Let's dance, Papa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh I messed up. How did that happen? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This guy's serious. God, it's so loud. Oh, stack on me, guys. Stack on me. Oh, what am I doing? It's okay.
shit. This battle was so loud and scary. Ninja are so fun. Hell yeah. Dude, I grinded just to be able to get it to 70 so I can use it for the for my current MSQ. Just because I loved how it worked. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, we did it. We didn't fail. That was a rough start for me, man. That was the first fight of the day, you know? Or... I played earlier, but you know what I mean. My fingers were cold. I didn't know the difference between 1, 2, and 3, and 3, 2, 1. I mean, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. I reckon I can find a deeper v-neck than this. Hmm. Can almost see my belly button. Hmm. You are the savior of our village. Oh, stop it. Okay. I've been trained by the best. Damn it, confounded cow. Pretty sure that's a, uh, a Shakespearean reference, you know? Sometimes I freeze up. <laughs> Sometimes I get so caught up in everything that's going on that I'm just like, uh, what am I supposed to do now? And I like, I plan my opening ahead of time too. And I still manage to mess it up.
I do have my stuff set up in a very inefficient way. I feel like the shortcuts I have set up are very kind of crazy. Hope you all have a blessed, a blessed and amazing, wonderful day today. Thank you, Mr. Joshua Reese. Appreciate you coming in with those kind, encouraging words. Love to see it. Where in Thaw's balls are we again? Or where is he actually? He's back at the, uh, back at base. That's good. He went home. Only 1,200 gil for that, uh, just for him to tell me. Great job, Shadowpaw. You guys need to get on, like, Yahoo Messenger or something, man. Like, this is crazy. You guys have me traveling thousands and thousands of miles, paying thousands of of my of my hard earned hard earned coin, you know. My God, I couldn't even imagine. I was actually having that thought today: what it would be like to play on controller. Good God. <laughs> We must have some fast fingers. Sometimes I just click too fast. I have to have like trigger discipline with my mouse over here. Bring it straight off to the side, you know. I have rambled enough. That you are right, my friend. I have wars to attend to. But thank you for teaching me Tenchi Jin. Uh, Alright, no more job quest or storm blood. We did it guys. Yeah, isn't mage pretty hard? <laughs> yeah, you know, just like anything, and you put enough time and practice into something. Yeah. My grandpappy used to say, "You chop ten thousand potatoes a day, you'll be good at you'll be good at chopping potatoes." So we learned this over here. Oh. I see. So I would have to put it into that. So like, let's say I do, and then I hit that, they'll all be Raiden's lightning bolt. Uh -huh. Well. It's only one thing to do now. Mostly go G pose nowadays. Oh, I know what that's like, man. I'm always G posing. Living that G pose life. I have like 1500 screenshots on my computer, taking up most of my uh, hard drive space. Let's go over to. I always forget, is it Falcon's Nest? Probably have those confused.
Also, let me turn this down a little bit. That last fight was so loud. I feel like I was screaming. As much as I like the music and... Executed twice. Yeah, I feel like I'm always doing media management. I'm always moving files, compressing folders. It's a whole thing. So let's say I do go hit this guy. Oh, that's a lot. Long cooldown, though. So I'd assume that's more of an opening move. I do this one. Hmm. Okay, I could do that when I have trick attack available. I could follow it up with that. Okay. I'm sure there's a more efficient way, but it makes sense to me. That's, uh, that's good. <laughs> the only thing that I do not like where this is set up. Let's 
see, what can I do here? That's that, that's that, that's that. That one is that one. Okay. Control shift. over there. All the way over here. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's not too far. I know exactly where that is. Oh, but before that, damn, I keep spending money teleporting, but this is important. It is over here, I think. Yeah. Get some new stuff. I already have that. Oh, that's right, I got a weapons coffer. Nice. Wow. Wow. Look at Shadow Paw. Holy hell. Which is going to be stronger? Yeah, I think what I have on is the strongest. Here, check out your stream for a bit, only fair after you liking so many of my videos on TikTok. Oh, wait, who are you on TikTok? What's your, uh... Thank you for crossing over. I think we're good for right now. <laughs> right on. Man, look at Shadow Paul. Holy man. And Shadow Paw. Right. Let's uh let's start on our journey, which takes me back over here. Another fourteen hundred dominoes. Okay though. Well. 
And of course, I cannot fly out here. So that's why our journey begins here. Not there. Cross the bridge like a normal person. Tommy. Yeah, that rings a bell. I'll definitely uh, double check there in a second. Just like I put a name to the account, you know? Now we go for a nice long swim. Treacherous cold swim. Who knows what roams the depths of these of these lakes and rivers and bodies of water. I got my gear from Diddle Dial. Diddle Diddle Dyer. Diddle Dial. He'll do roulettes. The only one I did was leveling. Love this outfit. I think that was it. Turn up. Uh, I bring her on. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate that. My partner in crime is somewhere around here. I usually lure her in with roulettes and then when she's only thinking of doing dungeons and whatnot, I ask her for all sorts of rides that are really far away.
But it's okay, man. It's good to get out and stretch your legs, you know? Yes. Let us the pot. Where am I going? Who am I seeing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, all right. Ah, Mr. Hain. Hello to you, my friend. How have you been? How's the family? Ah, that's right. They were uh, massacred in the last, uh, the last war. There. All right, here we go. What are we doing? Salmon muffin. Oh, I'm excited for that. Wolf person, you are in command. Okay, you know, a thousand here, a thousand here. 14,200, that's okay, man. <laughs> Traveling's expensive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Levi Giselle, thank you for your uh, subscription there. You uh, frightened the soul out of me. Welcome back, you two. Hello. Greetings, Lord Hian. Glad Hello you could to join you. us. Hang on, one second. I'm in a cutscene. Glad to be here. I would have come sooner, were our own defense is not in question, but I am pleased to report that our soldiers are assembling for deployment to Alamigo as we speak. We're grateful for your support. Thanks to the efforts of our allies, it won't be long before we've established defensive positions on this front as well. We have some good news, too. Elphino has come back to us. As for the bad news... He is in a deep slumber. Poor Alphino. So, Alphino won't wake up. Gaius van Baelsar is alive and hunting Assians, and the Empire is planning to poison us all with toxic gas. Does that sound about right? Ordinarily, any one of those things would have left me in shock. But the way things have been lately, it's all starting to seem pretty normal. Getting back to your report, are we sure this Black Rose is the weapon Maxima was talking about? It fits the description. And it seems we have Alfino to thank for sparing us an early demonstration of its effectiveness. I have a feeling this won't be the last time his bravery in the Empire will serve us here in Eorzea. The threat of an unknown weapon has had us all on edge. But now that we know what we're dealing with, we can take steps to defend against it. As for Gaius, I'm not sure what to think. Am I happy he's alive? Not in the slightest. 
Am I happy he's hunting Asians? Aye. Oh, I'd have to say I am. You're goddamn right. Oh, speaking of Garlians you didn't expect to see, we have a tale of our own, as it happens. When we sent envoys to the Imperial Army to request talks, they returned with the message that Barisos Galvus would be attending. <gasps> the Emperor himself? Well, Varus did sanction the Popularis peace mission. But knowing that an Asian walks in his son's skin, I do not see how we can trust him or anyone from that nest of vipers. The Alliance would proceed with negotiations regardless, if only to give ourselves more time to prepare. We do, however, require your cooperation. Ah, uh, right. Yes. So, as a condition for the talks to go forward, the Empire has requested that a member of the Scions be present. There'll be a representative from each Alliance nation, of course, but I'm afraid we have to ask that you come along too. God, Lise, you know how much I hate politics. But then, what choice do I have? Alphano and the others aren't going to do it. Ah, yeah, you'll be fine. Very well. I shall attend as the Scion's representative. In case you're wondering why I didn't ask you, the Empire also requested the presence of Eorzea's champion. But of course I'll be there. Well, whatever do you mean? N no, I have uh, things planned that day. That's settled then. We don't know what Varus means to bring to the table, or why he wants you there, but having you close at hand will make all the difference. The meeting will take place on the border. Anticipating an early assault, we mean to position the bulk of our forces nearby. The Alliance leaders should already be on their way. Once you're ready, we can head out and join them. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? 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 Oh. Hey. Hey. What's up? What are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, Are that's you? good. That's great. I added a uh, custom sound to my soundboards on Discord just to mess with you. But it didn't save it. Oh. Never mind. Aww. Oh, no, I think I have it to save. Wait, why, why am I messing with That's what it is. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. I heard that. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Never mind. Anyways, where am I going? Well, that's a cool bike. I need to get myself a, a nice motorcycle, you know? All the cool kids have them. One segundo.
Oh, I think I had some for you. Yeah. Parlay with the Emperor. I'm gonna parlay with the Emperor. Ooh, okay. Classic parlay. So much honor sitting on this side of the table. This guy would make a terrible upstairs neighbor. Esteemed representatives of the Eorzean Alliance. On behalf of the Galian Empire, I thank you for inviting me here today. As this parley was convened at your request, I invite you to speak first. Very well, your radiance. I, Nanimo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of Ul, should be pleased to oblige you. As recent events in Alamigo and Doma have made plain, the subjugation and exploitation of neighboring nations is not a sustainable policy. Should this day end in war, you may very well defeat us, but you will never extinguish the people's desire for freedom. Though it may not be in our lifetime, there will be another revolution, another war, and the cycle will continue. Doma has entered into a concord with the nations of Eorzea, a partnership wherein we recognize one another as equals. Garlemald could be afforded similar treatment. You need only set aside your ambitions and join us in paving a path towards peace. <laughs> you will not win me over with sophistry, your grace. As you know only too well, this alliance lacks the strength to keep the peace within its own borders. Even now, your struggles with the Beastmen continue unabated. Divided, you sow this fertile soil with the seeds of your differences and reap naught but discord and chaos for your trouble. Eorzea must be united under one leader, one purpose. I would offer you both and bring an end to your strife. With all due respect, your radiance, the only thing that you offered the people of Alamigo was fear and hopelessness. The citizens of Dorma can also attest to the meager arms of imperial rule. There is no purpose to be found in a life of oppression, each day more uncertain than the last. Our people are willing to die for their freedom. A great many already have, and countless more will, if we don't put an end to this madness here and now. One, two. We brought order and stability to your lives. This madness and bloodshed is of your own making. You broke the peace, not Garlemar. Peace. Order. You kill our peoples, despoil our lands, take everything that is ours. And what? You expect us to lick the boot that grinds our faces into the dirt? I expect you to weigh the costs. To recognize that countless lives have been lost on both sides in pursuit of a greater good, and to not squander all we have achieved in a fit of petulance.
your radiance. I fear I can personally attest to the dangers of pursuing one's vision with such righteous fervor. For a thousand years, the Holy See of Ishgard waged war with dragons. A thousand years of sacrifice, of sorrow and hate, in which we bathed in the blood of friend and foe alike. Had it gone on any longer, we may well have drowned. Yet we have chosen to raise ourselves out of this bloody spiral, and have since made peace with our former enemy. So I understand. No doubt the dragons were more receptive to your overtures in the wake of their leader's demise. You speak of peace, yet use war to achieve it. Your father would not have bothered to obscure his intent with honeyed words. He understood that strength is all that matters in the end. Without his clarity of vision, I can but wonder what will become of Ishgard and her people. There was a time when Galamal too lacked a leader of conviction. Weak and unable to wield magic, we were at the mercy of the strong from whom we sought refuge in the bitter cold of the north. And the cameraman kind of got us up there. Were it not for the discovery of Ceruleum and the subsequent development of Magitech, we might never have gained the power to take back that which was rightfully ours. You speak as if your people were the first to have been driven from their homes. Limsa Laminsa was built by wayward souls in search of a place to call their own. On the shores of Vilbrand we found it, and from those humble beginnings did we grow and flourish, and all without robbing our neighbors of their liberty. So saith the pirate. Am I to believe that you simply asked the kobolds to yield up their lands and that they were happy to oblige you? That you did not drive them out like rats in the hold of one of the many ships seized by your privateers. No, oh, well, you know, we're pirates. I will concede that after centuries of exile, reclamation may be mistaken for invasion. Nevertheless, it is not. And those who till stolen soil have no right to object when cast out in turn. No, I know, he's, he's making a Your lot of sense. Your uncompromising nature rivals that of the Ixil. They too lament circumstances which they themselves perpetuate. Were they but to embrace peace, we would welcome them with open arms. Indeed, some few have done just that, and now receive of the Twelve's Woods bounty. I just want to rip the BB out of his head, though. Just right out of his forehead. Would that your people might learn from their example. <laughs> I just want to pluck that thing. You dare compare us to the Birdmen? You who thought to invoke the Twelve and threaten all of creation? I came here in the hope of finding some speck of common ground, but I see now these discussions will accomplish nothing. Despite what you people may believe, I am not wont to choose the sword over the olive branch. Tis but a pity men are loath to accept one without first being shown the other. Wait! I beg you! This meeting was supposed to be a chance to find a way forward together, not to bemoan the missteps which brought us here. Please, if you truly consider violence a last resort, there must be a way we can come to an agreement. A 
As Mistress Alizé says, we did not come here to bicker over the past, but to discuss how we might strive towards a brighter future. Emperor Varys, may I suggest a short recess, that all present might compose themselves prior to beginning anew? Very well. I pray this intermission will suffice to move these talks in a more constructive direction. Hmm, yes, of course. I like listening to myself talk. So you can hear this guy clanking from a mile away. Nah, you did fine, Alize. I feel like Alphano would have said the same thing, but just differently. With zero emotion behind it. Mayhap we can come to an agreement? What say you? I would bring up... Asians, bro. Let's bring up the Asians, come to an agreement, and go from there. And bring a bowl of cottage cheese. He seems to be a man that likes his cottage cheese. There's something weird with his, like, cape, the way it rests on his, like, pants and his back. Because it makes his ass look ginormous. It looks like the, uh, bowls of Baba Ganoush are going straight to the hips, you know what I mean? Nothing of the Xenos or the Asians? No. Perfect. Ugh. How do you scare them? What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Why, why, why'd you do that? Because you said all of the Baba Ganoush was going to your thighs. <laughs> so I was like, Perfect. Yeah, at certain angles, it just the way he's dressed makes his hips and his ass look very wide. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's got fifty now pounds then, on his head. Who would have the floor? Before we resume, I wish to offer you an apology. 
After you graciously accepted our invitation to discuss an armistice, we have done naught but rebuke you at every opportunity. I believe I speak for all of us when I say we are deeply sorry for our discourtesy. I'll admit your familiarity with our affair surprised me, and served to remind me how little I know of yours. I think all here can understand the desire to reclaim one's homeland, but why expand further? That is my question. If I may, the answer can be found in the Imperial Doctrine they took great pains to impart to my people. Recognizing the threat icons posed to the world, Solus Zos Galvus decreed that they were to be eradicated. To this end, he began a campaign to unite all lands under the Garlean banner. Or so we were taught. Yet the Emperor only reached the burn, the Baron said to have been laid waste by icons, after conquering all the lands that lay between. What is more, I am quite certain the practice of summoning was not nearly so widespread in the days before the Empire's founding. When you put it like that, it all starts to sound like an excuse, doesn't it? But to distract from what? Why are you really waging this war? Finally. You ask the right question. I can but hope you heed mine answer and at last accept the righteousness of our cause. My goal is this. To return the world to the way it once was. The way it was always meant to be. In doing so, mankind will be made whole once more. Yes, but how? How will you accomplish? No longer will we suffer from the dissension born of our differences. There will be but one race, a perfect oh, okay. race, we as we were when time began. <laughs> what in Rolga's name are you talking about? People with pebbles I am in their talking forehead. about the origins of this star, of the source and its 13 reflections. At the instant of the great sundering, t'was not only the world that was shattered, but mankind itself. Thus were we divided into myriad races, each with its own unique imperfections. <laughs> Those shoulder pads, dude, yeah. That is why man looks upon his neighbor and feels fear and hatred. Why he wages war. Why he kills his brother. Don't they say, man, the bigger the shoulder pads... You all in your own way have proven as much today. The peace you seek is but a fleeting solution to a fundamental problem. One which calls for more drastic measures. To bring about everlasting peace, our worlds must be rejoined. That is the goal the Empire would see realized. The glorious future unto which we shall one day shepherd mankind. Long live the pebble-headed people. A rejoining of worlds. I have heard this tale of the Source and its reflections before. Are these not the self-same desires as the Asians? Emperor Varys, do not trust in their words. They will lead you to your doom. My father thought to use them, but in the end he succumbed to their temptations. He embraced summoning like so many other pawns before him. Do not tell us you mean to do the same. Hmm, yes. <laughs> to be a pawn, free from the burden of choice, would be a blessing.
But I foreswore that privilege the day I learned that the Galian Empire was built by the hand of an Asian. What? Yes. My grandsire, the former Emperor, is of their number. And who better to build an empire capable of bringing about the calamitous change we desire? Why else are we Would so Would you condemn evil? me for this alliance? For bowing to the will of these shadowy masters when the prize is true and lasting peace? Shadowy people. Is a liar master will demon that will not stop you. I come not to conquer, but to liberate. To free man from the prison of divergence. Imagine a world united. One perfect race beneath a single standard. Ay, ay. An army before whose might these servants of darkness and light would fly as leaves in a storm, never again to meddle in man's affairs. We would be the masters of our own fate. We. I bid you join me. Not as subjects of Garamald, but of a new nation. And together we shall win freedom for ourselves and generations yet unborn. You want to trigger another half dozen calamities? You can't be serious! Have you forgotten how many died? There will be no one left! I have one arm. Do you truly imagine we would aid you in your bloodletting? It is unthinkable, unconscionable. Oh, we're all standing? Okay. And what is the alternative? To be as cattle waiting for slaughter? I would have us work together, that we might take fate into our own hands! Into your hands, perhaps? But what of the other worlds, your Radiance? With every calamity, you obliterate a star and every soul that dwells on it. From the Asians, we are all but tiny, momentary specks within an indifferent universe. We cannot hope to oppose them until we have been made whole once more. Are these truly the words of Garlemald's ruler? The flaws and foibles which you so abhor are what make us who we are. Every nation, even yours, Emperor Varys, is made whole through the combination of these imperfections. The strengths of one compensating for the weaknesses of another. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others fostering community and cooperation. That the protector of an empire should not only reject these fundamental truths, but seek to change them at so dear a cost to life is indefensible. Such a man is not fit to govern. Bring it like it is. And you, warrior of light, would you refuse me as well? Ew. 
It would seem the Alliance is of one mind on this matter. Shadowpaw looks so cool. You Eorzeans never cease to disappoint me. Though I suppose I have only myself to blame for expecting more from savages. Oh, you bitch. This discussion is at an end. I bid you make ready for our next meeting. It will not be at the negotiating table. Be right back. What do you got here? Some tea with a salmon muffin. I do have a lot of food, but... I do love food. more war. I'm not sure what I was expecting from our meeting with the Emperor, but it wasn't that. Still, at least we know now what he's really after. Aye, a future built on a mountain of bodies. I too want the Asians dead, but not at any cost. The last of the reinforcements from Dorma arrived not long ago. I pray it will be enough. Given the Emperor's stated goal, this is a battle we can ill afford to lose. If the Galleons come in force, we may not have much say in the matter, even with our combined strength. We knew from the first that the odds would be against us. But if there is even the slightest chance of victory, we must do everything in our power to seize it. We 
We must seize it full stop. We must seize here, it. Here. The two of you are to join an irregular unit and support the main host. I won't bother asking if you're minded to fight. After coming this far, how could I not? And for once, there's no one around to countermand me. Not that they would. Not even my brother. But we all know who will really make the difference. Ready to frighten some Garleans? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be on their side. Might I ask you to accompany the Dorman contingent? They are strangers here, and your presence would do much to raise their spirits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would be honored. When our people stride out with you in their midst, I dare say the Eorzeans will feel an ilm taller themselves. High spirits have a way of spreading. Ah, uh, what I wouldn't give to join you. But my duties as field commander will not allow it. I'll leave the front lines in your capable hands. Comrades, ready your arms. The hour of battle has come. May the crystal guide us to victory! Since the others couldn't be here, we'll have to fight twice as hard. If Alphano wakes to find the Imperials have won, I shall never hear the end of it. It's strange. I thought I would be terrified when the fighting started. I should be terrified. But with you at our side, I can't help feeling everything is going to be all right. So please, don't die. Don't you dare leave me alone. No matter what happens, we have to survive together. We shan't die, milady. It's a regular duty. You ready to do the duty? You ready to duty it up? I'm ready to do the duty. Let's do the duty. Hang on. Make sure I eat my baked eggplant. Thank you for that. My, uh, this I'm not at a sanctuary. This is the battlefield. I shall wear my nicest robes. For I am Shadow Paw. Average item level 360 and I'm at 282. Oh no. Hang on. I'm gonna have to spend some coin. Wait. 
Do you have tomes? Yeah, I think I do. Oh uh, yeah, I have Max. Okay, awesome. Go to Ralgar's Reach. Oh, Ralgar's, yes. That's, that's and get fair. your augmented gear there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all of the rest of the uh, Idleshire stuff, but forgot about. Yeah. I'm on my way. It's over there, I think. I'll find it. Are you here? No, alright. Yeah, you're in the right place. Aha! Go try to find it. Speak to her, or is there? Ah! <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, make sure back. it's the uh, number two gear. Is it the second category down at the bottom, or is it the first, second one? Oh no, the sec down there, that's of magic, right? Yeah, that's magic. Uh-huh. You're... D-O-W-2. Oh, look at that stuff. Oh my goodness. I also got another weapon. Yeah. Who has the weapons? Uh. Your chain. Ashina here. Ashina. Ah uh, yes. Ashina. And it's um, the. Lost Allegan. No, the Skaven Gear Exchange. Ah uh, yes, good old Skaven. Skaven. Oh wow. Wah wah wee wah, look at that. Wah wah wee wah. Wow. High tech. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, so before we uh, face the duty, Let's do a, uh, let's get some roulettes out of the way. Okay. That way I get tomes, I get more gear. I'm slightly off the, the gear level, but I think we'll be fine. I think with a, uh... You wanna do a normal raid? Or do you wanna start off easy and do a level 50-60? 60 60 sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. I read the party leader.
Nice. Oh man. Got some lightning happening. Hey, it's Will, Mr. Elric. Doing a duty, my friend. How are you? How's your weekend, my friend? How's the start of your week? Hope you're doing all right. I've been grinding side quests to get ninja to level 70. And we did it, man. God damn it, we did it. I just need to get better gear. We're off to a decent start. Look at that thing. Oh my Jesus. Oh my goodness. My goodness. What are you doing? Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
place. Oh. Great job, guys. Great job. Yeah. Use the whole thing. I thought it was pretty good. That was weird for me, I don't know. Pinta me! You gotta drop the little yeah little pellets little bombs Jesus so loud
dude. That last explosion rocked my brain. It was so loud. Sweating a little bit. Do I have a cutscene person? Oh. Attention to where the monster is facing. Uh -huh. Stay away from the front. Oh, 
egal. Oh my goodness. Stay away from the back. Nice, no deaths. This one. Hopefully, you get it. Oh. A little seal. Salt and pepper seal. A loose seal, you say? All right, I'll join you guys. Ah. <laughs> Didn't get it. Damnations. Okay. Uh, how many poetics do I have? 205. Not enough for anything. Let me fix my gear. Ah. There you are, old friend. What is next? We shall do... Let's do a normal raid. Let's do an alliance trade. I'm ready. I've been muted this whole time. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, Naomi, you have to get off of my computer. You're gonna make it too hot. <sighs> three thirty-three, and I think it was like three fifty per. What was it? It was three fifty. Oh, you gotta launch it. A lion trade. Alize.
I went from having like a little bit of food and now I have all sorts of food. Lady, what are you what are you doing here? Hello. I'm not fond of this helmet, but you know. It is what yeah. it is. Yeah. Looks kinda goofy. Yeah, yeah. It'll change soon. I'm not bothering with it yet. What I had on before was really nice. I might go back to yeah. that. Are you looking at me with those eyes, huh? Oh. Take it off. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to wear it. Line C. Everybody's starting to leave. It's like, wait a minute. Switch over to the hourglasses. 
Make sure those break. Too. Oops. Pretty lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one has some strange mechanics.
Asus. It was very long indeed. Fighting Kerr? Oh, who are we fighting? The Jaws? Uh. World of Darkness? World of Darkness. Line C M. It does not res repeat the mistakes of the past. Destroy that or what? Focus on the past. Good. <laughs> I'm coming. Why did I move?
I'll take over. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is kind of messy, because I feel like the other two alliances, like their tanks were fighting for main tanks, so I just kept my stance off. <laughs> but now it's like, okay, if we, do I turn it on? It's, are they no longer tanking? <laughs> Oh, whoops, I didn't really just do that. Away from the party. Away from the party. Okay. You remember to run to the side. <laughs> 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 no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What do you mean? What do you mean? What the hell I'm doing? Stand on one of those, uh... Well, if they're not taken. Oh. Or any. Uh, well. You know what they I say, man. <laughs> I think I was in the wrong one. <laughs> Dude, I just went to the first one. Oh shit! <laughs> yo! <laughs> Chill with that shit, yo! You know, get somebody killed. Oh my 
goodness. These uh, healers are carrying me around like a baby. This was happening. They're just like, come, come here. Just, it's fine. You're doing just fine. <laughs> I feel like now, like they, they knew to look out for me. They saw me running to laser. Oh, there he is. Hang on, let me make sure I got him. At one point, there's missiles coming. Did I avoid a single one? Nope. I stayed right there. Held my ground. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Let me see how many poetics do I have? 425? I can buy some stuff, I think. Yes, yes, I took quite the beating <laughs> in that last one. Maybe I should buy... Where's the... Oh, there's no market board here? Hey, hey, Medley Mana. Happy Monday indeed. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Do a main scenario, we'll get what we need, and we shall carry on. Now, 
Let me know when you're ready. Good. Hope you all are doing well. Yeah, we're chilling. Just getting me some poetics right now so I can get better gear. And then we're going to war. Once again. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. It's fine. But we're going to free the land, you know. Alright, what am I doing? Um... Main scenario. Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, you know, it's gonna be fun. But it's been good, you know. I was grinding a bunch of dungeons earlier off stream, just trying to get Ninja up to 70. Now I'm just working on getting my gear level higher and good to go. We're almost there. That's 360. What am I at? 340. Alright, right there. So we have 99 silver pieces. 3 gold. Oh, that's 70 and 99 silver pieces. Oh, 170. 169, I guess. And 8 bronze pieces. Is that 3 gold? No, it's a little rainy day fun, you know? You know what I mean? Rolling in the money, you know, I, I work hard for it, you know. <laughs> I'm very frugal, you know. Lately, I've been spending a lot on travel, but just because uh, of time. Speaking of which, let me check my retainers, see, see what's going on there. Do you have any money for me? Ah, there we go. Your favorite. This is not too bad.
Why did they all come after me with that? Got Run, Shadow Pop.
Well. <laughs> My god, my eyes are so dry. I need to start blinking. She's the one that Judo kicked the shit out of. Yeah. Anorexia? So, a little imp. I've never seen such power in a kick before. Not since Steven Seagal, at least. Let's dance.
this gear yep it'd be good look at that level 71 can you believe it I have three classes above level 70 amazing it's tombstone right yeah God, I'm so short of it. There has to be an accessory I can get. Oh, stop it. Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna buy a headpiece or something from the market board. You're muted, I don't know if you're talking. Okay. Nearest place that has one. Little Shire, I guess. Just go back to go to Linza. It's not. It's no longer my home. My home place. Oh. What is my home world? Mog home. Okay. Well, you could go to Linza. I'm going to Limsa. Right here. Ah, I haven't seen you people in so long. Hello, everyone. So funny. <laughs> a little bit of shopping, a little bit of shopping, nothing crazy.
Yeah, this gear doesn't seem to be better than what I have. Maybe a new weapon? Yeah, I'm right there. I'm literally almost done with Stormblood. Yeah, these are not better than... You have to go up a level. Aha, right at 360. Amazing. Only cost 50,000 bill. You ready for the duty? The duty of your life?
Oh man, I haven't even been to the gold saucer in a while. I don't even know if I won the lottery last weekend. It means I didn't play this week. Oh, I can still play. For fun. Not ready at all. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm nervous. Oh, there you are. Which one is it again? Oh, I think I have to go over there, actually. I think it's called the Gimlet Dark. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my god, I'm nervous. I need to get my head in the game, dude. These last few runs, I've been very sloppy. I've just been like... Blah, 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 blah. You're about to experience some peak storytelling. Oh. It's a great, 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 great story, and I hope you love it as much as I do. I will. I'm sure I will. I know, well, that's why I spent the last two days just grinding out, uh, my ninja class, dude, because I just really wanted to use them for the current stuff. So just avoiding MSQ the last two days and just doing a thousand side quests and dungeons. Do I want a different outfit for this or do I want... I don't know. Have shared, I have shed many tears for this game. Does Medley? Yeah, I mean there have been times. So far, it's definitely there's been a few moments. Well, same here. Where I'm just same like, here. God, damn it! I've already accepted how sad this is, and how your favorite characters will someday perish. Whether it's to the hand of a of the sword, maybe some poison. The way it goes. Don't trust parties. Yeah, don't trust parties. Don't trust. Don't trust social gatherings. Yeah, social gatherings are just. It's bad luck, man. Don't trust people. Mm -hmm. Don't trust. Yeah, I've been wanting to move to Costa del Sol and just retire. Mind my own business, but here is just impossible. Impossible to have peace. Hope it doesn't take too long. You know, because if the world is destroyed, then I, you know, what's the point in me? I, I have to save it, because then what, what's the point? <laughs> can sit out by the beach when I'm dead. Sure. Oh my goodness.
I'm coming. Not too bad guys, not too bad. Managing to stay alive. Good.
for lagging, right? Yeah. 